Today, we will discuss Selma. And I'm not talking about Hayek. Welcome back to the Barely News Crew. I am your host here as always, Alexis, and today we will discuss the Oscar-nominated movie Selma starring David Oyelowo, directed by Ava DuVernay. Selma is a biopic portraying the real-life events of Martin Luther King Jr. as he tries to pass the historic landmark legislation of the Voting Rights Act. Amazingly, this is actually the first motion picture made about Martin Luther King Jr. and the first time he's been portrayed in a movie. And for the most part, it's pretty faithful to what actually happened. MLK basically organized thousands of people to stand up for their right to vote, even a century after it was ratified in the Constitution by an amendment that they had the right to vote. People found loopholes to get around this amendment by using harsh exams and taxes to marginalize the black population. But after a hundred years, King, defender of justice, rises up for voting rights of all blacks. And then we cut to King trying to talk to President Lyndon B. Johnson about his plan. And okay, let's just stop there. One of the biggest criticisms of this movie for not only myself, but of many people is the way that President Lyndon B. Johnson was portrayed in his behavior as being something of a wuss. He almost seems like the antagonist, when in reality, he was actually very supportive of the movement. At some point, Johnson's lack of action is portrayed as being the cause for a brutal scene in which many African Americans are beaten down the pathway of a bridge while they're doing a peaceful protest. Another critique that I have of mine, and that's just for me, if you're gonna make a movie about Martin Luther King Jr., you gotta have the I Have a Dream speech in there. Especially with the tremendous performance given by David Oyelowo. Just as I thought Eddie Redmayne became Stephen Hawking, David Oyelowo became MLK. But don't get me wrong, this movie is still pretty good. Something really special about this film is that it was actually directed by an African-American female director, Ava DuVernay, which is something that I feel we need more of in today's culture and society. And filmmakers. I really saw the passion she had in this movie, the way that the brutal, disgusting scenes that we see in the film, how they resonate with all of us and bring out that deepest part of ourselves that we hate. That was a brilliant and masterful job as a director. Another big critique I have is that besides MLK, you don't really care much for the other characters. I really wish it was more of an ensemble cast unit. Even though there was some inaccuracies and no I have a dream speech, I still thought the movie was very enjoyable and I was engulfed by the performance of David Oyelowo as Martin Luther King Jr. and the story that was portrayed here. All in all, this earns a four star rating. Anyways, guys, that's our review of Selma. We want to know what you think. Please leave a comment down below. I am Alexis here as always. And remember, you're always welcome to the place for all things movies, music, television, news, and reviews. Thank you for watching this video. Please watch your reviews for Birdman, Boyhood, and Whiplash. This is the Barely Nudes crew, and thank you for watching.